بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم أما بعد once it comes to the month of Rajab many people celebrate the 27th night of Rajab assuming it to be the night in which the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was made to undertake his miraculous night journey to the heavens and above. The reality of the matter is that celebrating and commemorating this night for this reason is something very far-fetched. Once it comes to when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was made to undertake the journey of Mi'raj, we have a great difference of opinion amongst the scholars of Islam. Yes, we do have some scholars who were of the understanding that the journey of Mi'raj took place upon the 27th of Rajab. Therefore, we cannot totally discredit this understanding and this opinion. However, on the other hand, we have the majority of the scholars of Islam, and this includes many a giants who were of the understanding that once it comes to the journey of Mi'raj, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam undertook, then it did not take place in the month of Rajab, never mind it falling on the 27th night of Rajab. Imam Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani rahmatullahi alayhi in his famous commentary of Sahih al-Bukhari makes mention of 10 different opinions regarding when the journey of Mi'raj took place. Similarly, once it comes to Imam Zurqani rahmatullahi alayhi, he makes mention of six different opinions. I'm mentioning this so we can become aware of the various opinions regarding when the journey of Mi'raj actually took place. Many scholars then take a step further and they prefer months other than the month of Rajab once it comes to the exact month in which the Prophet ﷺ undertook the journey of Mi'raj. This is a discussion regarding the month. So when the month is differed upon, specifying a date of a particular month is not reasonable. Once we look towards the year in which the journey of Mi'raj took place, again we find a difference amongst the scholars of Islam. Yes, we may have a preferred opinion, but this does not negate there being a difference amongst the scholars regarding the exact year in which the Prophet ﷺ undertook this miraculous night journey. Once we assess all the various opinions regarding the year of Mi'raj, we find that these opinions range from the fifth year of prophethood until the twelfth year of prophethood. Therefore, once it comes to the 27th of Rajab, it's reasonable not to specify this day with certainty and claim that the Prophet ﷺ undertook the journey of Mi'raj upon this particular night. Those who take the step further, they celebrate this night, they commemorate this night. One point we should all keep in mind is that if there was any concept of such a celebration or commemoration within the Sharia, then the companions of the Prophet ﷺ, their successors, i.e. the Tabi'un, their successors, i.e. the Atba'ul Tabi'een, and the pious predecessors most definitely would have singled out this night due to its virtue and due to there being a concept of celebrating and commemorating it. Once we look towards the companions alayhimur radwan, we look towards the tabi'un alayhimur rahmah, we look towards the atba'ul tabi'een, rahimahumullahu ta'ala ajma'een, we don't find any mention of them celebrating and commemorating this night. This within itself is sufficient for us to understand that there is no concept of celebrating and commemorating this night. Yes, once it comes to the various opinions regarding when this journey of Mi'raj took place, then upon those different nights, yes, we can ponder over our lives and try to come to a conclusion regarding how much of that gift we have within our lives which the Prophet ﷺ was blessed with on this night journey of Mi'raj in the form of Salah. We should make intentions to increase the number of our prayers if we are deficient in the quantity. And then we should also make an intention to increase in the quality of our prayers. 
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all a sound understanding and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to remain punctual with our prayers so we can stand within his court when we are perfect believers. وَآخِرُ الدَّعْوَانَا أَنِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ